Um, so in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create your own custom uh, abstract smudge brushes like this. And I made um, a few. I made a set of these, and you can download them from DeviantArt.com. I'll leave a link in the description. So first thing you need to do is open up a new document. Now, the size of mine is 1,000 by 1,000, and I would recommend going with a fairly large image size because the maximum the maximum size of um, brushes in Photoshop is 2,500 by 2,500 and um, the, e the bigger the brush is the easier it will size down and size up so that way you can maintain the quality of it when you like uh, change the size of the brush so what you want, uh, want to do is when you go ahead and open up a new image and um, just have a white background now grab your paintbrush tool and make sure you're on the basic brush set and just grab, I'm just going to grab the 60, the size 60 brush and I'm just going to make a little line like that and that's all you really need to do, maybe make two lines if you want something like that, it doesn't look, you know, anything special now grab your smudge tool and if you don't have the smudge tool then um, you need to right click on the, it'll either be the blur tool or sharpen tool just right click on that and select smudge tool um, and it's under the paint bucket or under the gradient tool. Now after you've grabbed the smudge tool go ahead and um, make your brush again the size 60 circle brush and now I'm just going to make this a little larger by using my bracket keys and what you want to do is just simply smudge this in the direction you want it to go. Now be warned that it will um, get kind of laggy and might take a while to do this so the bigger the image size, the longer it'll take to do this. So you, you have to be patient and let it load. So after you're done, you should get something like this. And um, now brushes need to be black and white. And you would think that this would be just black and white since I just used um, the color black. But there are some other colors in there. So go to Image, Adjustments, and Black and White. And then just select OK. Now if you want, you can go to Image, Adjustments, uh, Levels. Um, this is optional. Now, as you can tell, I can always boost up the, um, make it a little darker. Um, that's optional, though. I'm going to just do that a little. Now, the blacker the, um, the blacker parts of the image are, the more, um, opaque they're going to be. So, gray parts will be transparent. White, or actually, white's going to be transparent. Gray is going to be kind of see-through. And then, black's just going to be opaque. Um, so now once you're done with your brush, go ahead and go to Edit, Define Brush Preset. And it'll ask you for a brush name and just put in whatever you want. And as you can tell, now I have this nice brush that you can use. Um, so it is now a Photoshop brush. But now let's say you want to save this um, because if you change your brush, um, if you go to a different brush set, um, it will probably disappear. So what you want to do is go to your brush tool and then click on that little drop down arrow and then click on this other arrow right here and then select preset manager. And what you want to do is uh, select all the brushes you want to make into a collection. So um, if you have multiple brushes just press control just uh, press control on your keyboard while clicking on them to select multiple files or multiple brushes. And then just set um, click save set and then save them as whatever you want and then just select done and that's how you can make your own custom brushes and by the way Photoshop brushes do work in GIMP that's just a little side note